Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you for inviting me, you know? Well, it's man. Huh? My mum used to say, you know, there are much more issues in the world than just being a footballer, being on the pitch every single day. So they kept coming at me, especially when you have a little bit of success on the pitch and you're supposed to be a big talent, what I never was basically until I was 18, 19 and then all of a sudden there was a big light and um, obviously turned out to be a professional footballer but as well stay humble in that moment that was always the education my parents gave me and the way they they taught me and um, they raised me so for me it was always very important to not always be that footballer when I finished my school I had to serve the country, either military or social year. And I decided to do social year while I was playing football. So the club had a few corporations with mental hospitals. And so I chose one of those. And they offered me kind of um, that I can train in the morning and serve in the afternoon and uh, help people out in my social year. At the start, I thought, ooh, can I deal with that? <laughs> Can I deal with people not knowing me, but they just need help to get food, to go to the toilet, to go to bed, to get dressed, everything. They just needed 24-7 help. But I felt like I can handle it. And the most important part was I felt I could work out in the morning and go there and just do my job and serve the country, but serve the patients as well. And, and see what it's about when you when you really struggle and you really struggle with your life. So it kept me going. It kept me really going and kept me seeing the world in a different way, totally different way. So when you experience firsthand what it's about, when you really struggle, when you really need help from other people, um, keeps you down to earth, keeps you... Uh, that was a humbling experience for myself. And when I look back to that time, that was a really healthy balance for myself to grow and to see what it means. On the one hand, live in a, in a world of highlights, in a world of beauty and people recognizing you, people showing up for a game with 40,000 people in the stands. And on the other hand, the hidden guys who need 24-7 help and do not recognize you. That was... I think that was the best experience I had. That really kept me going and keep growing as a person, but as well as a footballer. No matter what it was, my parents could support me, but they always put the finger in the wound and, and said to me, yeah, you're very fortunate, you were very lucky to, to in a great position. Make the most of it and respect everyone who's not in that position. It's important to Arsenal as well, and I have a feeling that we are pretty much responsible, you know, for our community, for the work Arsenal has done for more than 100 years. And to keep up that tradition, those are my values, and this is my vision for this club as well. And I think um, it's a little bit selfish sometimes, but I raise my hand, you know, when there's anything the club wants me to do or wants me to help, I am very happy to do so because the impact we have as the club and as persons is massive in our days and to take advantage as well for myself to keep things in perspective but to help others as well. It's good but it's not the only thing I can do or I can achieve in life is being a footballer. For more videos, 